Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to Art by Esther A. I am so excited to be bringing you this video tutorial as part of the Video Hop Collab hashtag Refreshing Summertime Art. It is being hosted by Angela Painting with Fibromyalgia and Diana of Artfully Yours with Diana. And all of the creators are members of the Creative Arts Collaboration on Facebook. Please visit the description box below and visit everyone who created a video for the event. You'll need five colors to create this painting. Titanium white, deep violet, light blue permanent, cobalt blue hue, and cadmium yellow light hue. To begin, we're going to use a number 10 bright, or you could use a 3 quarter inch wash brush. To start, we're going to take our deep violet and apply it to the top of the canvas this canvas is a canvas panel, eight by 10 inches. After you apply the deep violet, we're going to take some titanium white and start blending it down so it gets lighter. Once you've got about two inches, we're going to add the cadmium yellow as you see here. And we're gonna start from the bottom up and work our yellow into the blended part in the center. So our gradient's gonna go from purple down to yellow. And as I'm adding this yellow, we're going to continue to add titanium white to lighten the gradient as it gets closer to the horizon. We're going to use the same technique that we did for the skyline and use this blending motion for the waterline. Take your cobalt blue and we're going to use that as the base for the ocean. I placed it around four finger width uh, from the bottom of the canvas and that's around two and a half inches. As I'm placing the cobalt down, I'm going to be adding titanium white the light blue permanent and adding those reflections in the water. We're going to add deep violet and cadmium yellow to this water line as the sun is reflecting off of the water, but we're going to concentrate the yellow in the center. So using titanium white and the cadmium yellow, we're going to create some highlights and I'll show you how to do that part next. After we lay the base of the ocean, we're going to switch brushes and use a number four bright to add the highlights. And we're going to take our three quarter inch brush, wash it and dry it so we can use it for blending. Using very light pressure and holding the brush as you see here, I am mixing titanium white and cadmium yellow and applying them to the top part of the ocean, concentrating the most lines in the center and then slowly thinning it out as it gets to the edges of the canvas. After I add my yellow, I want to start adding some light blue permanent, deep violet, and the cobalt blue to add more dimension to the ocean. As you can see here, I'm taking the dry three quarter inch brush that we used earlier and I'm blending out the lines that I just laid down. 
we're going to keep repeating this process as we lay each color and each section down. Once you have applied your desired number of highlights to the ocean, we're going to start working on the reflection of the sun. I'm going to take our cadmium yellow and the titanium white and add these lines, sort of like making dashes, and gently blend them out with our dry brush. We're going to make about two to three inches of yellow lines in the center and then as it goes down further to the bottom of the canvas it thins out to about an inch or half an inch and that's just to give you an idea of how much sun reflection lines you're going to put. Now we're ready to start painting on the clouds. You can use a number six cloud brush or a number eight filbert. I'll be using both. Before I started my clouds, I prepared my palette. I took the deep violet and I added some titanium white. In a separate little pile, I took some deep violet and added just a little bit of cobalt blue. And in a separate little section, I added some cadmium yellow and deep violet. Titanium white and cadmium yellow made a really pretty bright and cheerful yellow, so I'm going to use that for some highlights. Then I took the cobalt blue and I added a little bit of deep violet to one pile. Then I added some titanium white in another. And then I took my light blue permanent and the cadmium yellow and I mixed those two together and it made a really pretty color. So these colors are going to be my palette for all of the highlights and the shadows of the clouds. Next I used my cloud brush and I dipped into the mixture of the deep violet with a little bit of cobalt blue in it and I laid down the foundation of the clouds. Basically deciding where the clouds would go and their basic shape. Using a circular motion, I'm applying the clouds using my cloud brush. Once I've decided where all the clouds are going to go and I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to switch to my filbert. We're going to repeat the same process for every single cloud using a circular motion and a combination of sometimes just lightly tapping. We're going to add some highlights and some shadows to each cloud as you can see here.
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had a wonderful time working with the other artists from the Creative Arts Collaboration on hashtag refreshing summertime art. Please check out the description box below where there are links to everyone's videos and leave a like and let them know you came from Art by Esther A.